Hi friends, Cole here. Thanks for joining me. We're definitely, um, yeah, in the midst of some wild times, to say the least. Wild and confusing, unprecedented times. And it's really important that we're doing, um, carving out space, not only to stay aware and clear about what's going on outside. I think it's really important to stay, you know, to stay up to date on, um, on what's happening so that we can all do our part. But it's also really important that we're not weighed down and living in fear mode as well. So it's finding this balance. And I talk about how balance is so elusive so often. Um, it really is. There isn't one final spot that you find and then you stay and then it's all good. We have to constantly cultivate this balance and to see what it is that we need in terms of how we take care of ourselves, how we interact with the outside world, how we interact with ourselves. So I like to think about it as cultivation. Um, we're cultivating um, balance and the word cultivation kind of lends to thinking about a garden for me um, where you're constantly pulling out weeds or um, checking on bugs and then planting and watering and um, checking the weather, all of these different things. There's so many different things that are happening to try to find the best, um, like the best conditions and they shift. So how do we check our inner weather, our inner landscape and cultivate that garden there? And what do we need from the outside world? What do we need from our inside world? And how do we, how do we stay balanced when things are shaky? Cause Things are real shaky right now, yeah? So, this space is a beautiful, a beautiful way to do that. And, um, you know, I really think that yoga is medicine and, you know, now more than ever we need to have ways to kind of step, step back a little bit and do some mental training. Um, on how to be centered, how to be calm, how to cultivate that space in order so that we can um, calmly act for the greater good. So those are my two cents on it. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a balance class today to kind of, you know, drive home that metaphor. But um, yeah, just some thoughts that I had today. One more thing that I'll say real quick is, and I'll come back to that. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll share that later, but let's start standing. So we'll just work on a little bit of balance stuff. So first let's look down at the feet, pick up the toes, spread them wide, lay them back down and then lift the heels and lay them down and kind of sway side to side a little bit. So really feeling the four corners of the feet and kind of trusting the feet. So we all have a different relationship with balance in a physical way. I have lots of um, injuries, especially on my left ankle from playing sports when I was younger. I played soccer and basketball and tennis and all the things, but my left ankle took a beating. So I'm real shaky on this side. Some of us have some shakiness due to other things, due to, due to other reasons. So you can always do any of this stuff with a chair, holding onto a chair or do it up against a wall as well. Yeah, but just kind of feel the four edges of your feet. And we'll take the right foot. We're going to come into tree pose first. We're going to take the right foot and you can take it down onto the ankle or the calf. Maybe you pull up. I'm already falling out, which is fine. You have to fall. You have to lose your balance in order to find it. So invite that in. So anywhere you'd like to be in tree pose, wherever you are, actively press the right um, pinky edge toe side of the foot. Press that in, it'll have to externally rotate just a little bit. And then let the knee be heavy, the right knee, as if everything was kind of like pushing down. You can even take your hands to your hips and kind of root yourself down as the crown of the head lifts. See how that changes things? Nice. Inhale, lift the arms up. So notice any of the wobbles and the shakes and that's you know, you're working and building the stabilizing muscles when we do that too. And when you fall out, all of that. So listen, we're going to take the right wrist. So left hand grabs the right wrist. The right foot is going to come off the left side of the mat and plant down. We're going to lean over towards 
and the right get a big side body stretch yes exhale curtsy pose so we're gonna wave the hands back bend the knees like you're taking a bow and then inhale one leg mountain so we're gonna come back up you're kind of like gathering the energy down one leg mountain knee is gonna come up yeah and you can pull the knee into the chest if you like if you like to be here mm -hmm. and we're gonna take eagle pose now so the right leg is gonna wrap over the left leg maybe it comes down to the ground and it can kind of set down like this or you can wrap it all the way around so either way you'd like to do it. So the right leg is on top and the left arm is on top. And we're gonna sink down. Actively press everything into one another. Pull the belly in slightly. And let's see if you can sink even lower. Counterintuitively, but the lower that you sink, the more um, balance that you'll have. One more big inhale. Full exhale. And then inhale, open up one leg mountain, this time cactus the arms. And then exhale, we'll come to stand, release the hands down. Shake it out. And we'll switch sides. Tree pose. So stand down to the right foot. Maybe you lift those toes again, spread them wide, lay them back down. And then we'll bring the left leg in. To the thigh, to the leg. Um, to the lower leg, anywhere you'd like it. Press through the pinky edge side of the left foot. Then let that knee be heavy. Again, maybe you take the hands to the hips and root down, lift the crown of the head up. Arms can lift, they can be at heart center, lots of different options. But leave some space for um, in between the ears and the shoulders. Leave space for your neck. I'm like, what is in between the ears and the shoulders? Woo! So, again, if you fall out, just come back in and know that you're building proprioception and the stabilizing muscle, so it's all good. We're going to grab the left wrist with the right hand. The left foot is going to come off the leg and step off the right side of the mat. The toes plant, the heel plants, reach over towards the right. Spiral the heart open just slightly. So big side body stretch, and then exhale, curtsy pose. Bow down, pull back on the right hip crease. Inhale, gather the energy up, one leg, mountain. So left leg comes in, maybe you grab um, the knee, maybe the arms come up, and take eagle pose. So the left leg wraps around, maybe it's stepping down here, or maybe it is wrapped all the way around, and even double wrapped with the foot options. Right arm on top. Everything squeezes in and sink low. Pull the belly in, that'll help as well. And actively press all the things into all the other things. Helps with proprioception, which is how your body knows where it is in space. Next inhale, cactus the arms, one leg mountain. And exhale, Tadasana. Shake it out a little bit. Beautiful. Let's come to the top of the mat. Do a little, little flow sequence here. So toes can come together. Slight separation in the heels here. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands. Take a big step back with the right foot. Bend the front knee, inhale, cactus the arms as you come up. And exhale, we're gonna fold forward pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Take a big step up, L-shape, top of the mat. And we're gonna bring the right hand down and we're gonna take the left hand to the hip. We're gonna to begin to gaze over the left shoulder. So this is gonna be a revolved half moon pose, a pretty intense pose. So you're just feeling into this balance here. So you're getting to use your hand, pull back on the left hip crease, yeah. And then spiral the heart down, plant the left hand down as you plant the right hip over the left hip. Slowly, maybe the right arm lifts up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. 
One more inhale and exhale. Square the hips back off. Take a big step to the back of the mat. Inhale, cactus the arms and exhale, fold forward. Yes. Inhale, lift and exhale, fold. Step to the left. Halfway lift and exhale, fold. Bend the knees as we rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, hands to heart center. Maybe you feel a little bit of heat now. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands, step back with the left foot. Bend the knees, come up, crescent lunge. Big opening, cactus the arms. And exhale, pyramid, wide leg pyramid. Fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Bend in the front knee. Put the weight in the front foot as you come up. L shape. Left hand plants. Right hand comes to the hip. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you begin to pull back on the right hip crease and spiral the torso open. Possibly the hand, right hand lifts. Maybe it doesn't. I'm just working on the balance here. This is supposed to be hard. <laughs> One more inhale. And exhale, heart spirals down the right hand plants, maybe onto a block. Blocks are good, really good for both of these. Left hand to the hip. So even though the left foot is up into the air, it's actively pressing as if it was touching onto like an invisible ceiling. One more inhale. And exhale, spiral back down. Bend the front knee. We're going to take a big step back again. Press down, lift all the way up, cactus the arms, and exhale, pyramid pose. One breath in, inhale, and exhale. Let's take a big step up, left foot meets the right, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, slow, roll up to center. And inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, one leg mountain, arms lift, the right knee lifts. Figure four, standing figure four. So we're going to take the right ankle over the left knee and take a seat down. You're sitting back into an invisible seat here. Hands are actively pressing into one another. Thumbs into the sternum, sternum back into the thumbs. Slow, steady breath. And push the booty back a little bit. So you can really feel it into the right hip. Yeah. Slowly begin to stand up as the right leg slides down the left leg, yeah? and forward fold. So both of the knees need to have a bend in them. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. Slowly roll up. We're going to take the right knee into the chest. It's a tricky transition. Find a little bit of stability here. And then we're going to take the knee into the left hand as we open up towards the right. Yeah? Right hand can press into an invisible wall to help you open up a little bit more. Woo! If you fall out, just come back in. One more big transition here. Yeah? We're going to step back into warrior two. So the torso is already twisted. We're going to release the leg and we're going to step it back as slow as we can to the back of the mat into warrior two. Beautiful. And we'll just stay here for a moment. Flip the front palm. Big reverse warrior. And let's come forward. Let's go do this a couple times. Wave forward into extended side angle, but the arms are loose. And just back and forward because that feels good. And if at any time you're doing these classes and you 
move into a new pose, something that feels good or a different modification, stay there, do that. Most importantly, exploring your body. Let's take a big step up, top of the mat. Right foot meets the left. Exhale, fold. And slow roll up to stand. Let's switch sides. We'll finish that breath, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Left knee comes in, one leg mountain. And exhale, figure four. So place the ankle over the right knee and begin to sit back. So notice that I'm trying to grab the, the ceiling. And that's fine. If you have something, grab onto it. You can have a chair right here. Woo! What helps if you look at something that's not moving and the more locks that you have, like I'm actively locking hand into hand, sternum to thumbs, thumb to sternum, all of these different places, helps the body know where it is in space. Maybe sink a little bit lower. Then we're going to fold forward. So you can begin to push into the right leg as the left leg folds down, slides down, and then we fold forward. Be sure you have a bend in both your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. So in a moment, we're going to roll up with the knee and the hand. So this is a kind of a tricky transition. So just have fun with this. There's absolutely no pressure. We're just, we all have a, a little extra time to play right now. So just play. So bend the knees, begin to roll the torso up. Hands are going to come onto the left knee and come into a one leg mountain. Woo. <laughs> the left hand is going to begin to draw back like you're drawing back on a bow and arrow. Maybe you gaze back at the thumb or maybe you're just gazing towards the left. And we're going to move in a moment into warrior two. So the torso is already twisted. We're just going to release the left leg and take a slow step back. So both arms going in opposite directions. That'll kind of give you a little bit of wings. And then maybe it's graceful, maybe it's not. Warrior two. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. And we kind of move with breath for a moment and just see what feels good. Move the arms. And we come to the top of the mat. Cart roll the hands down. Left foot meets the right. And exhale, fold down. Slow roll up. <sighs> Let's come back where we started. The feet hips distance, really feeling sturdy here. So lifting up the toes, laying them back down, feeling the four corners of the mat here. So it can feel really good to just feel grounded, rooted in the body and strong. So Tadasana is such like a strengthening pose, a feeling of like, I am here and I belong. And especially whenever we feel like we've lost a lot of control, lost a lot of power, can be a really empowering pose. So actively root down through the feet, turn the palms forward, roll the shoulders back, bring a smile across the collarbone so it kind of like, essentially it's kind of like a smile, wider from shoulder to shoulder and maybe a little smile across the face. Let the tailbone drop as the Back of the neck lengthens up and feel the space that's here. Feel the strength that's here. And thank yourself for showing up and creating more of a relationship with you, especially during these hard times. We really want to be able to know ourselves and have this space that we can come back to, a space that we can trust. And like a, a reserve of of sweetness and of alignment that we are able to tap into, not only for ourselves, but for those around us, for those we love. Hmm. Hmm. And slowly open your eyes. Thank you all so much for joining me. Again, my name's Cole Chance, and really happy to be sharing um, in coordination with Yoga TX during these difficult days. Yeah. So if you'd like to learn more about me, you can go to coldchanceyoga.com and I got lots of things about me on there. And um, I hope to see you again on your mat. Be well.